Hey guys, what's going on and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be testing a bunch of Kiro Beauty products. Now this has been sent to me via PR for which I'm truly thankful and grateful for. However, having said that, I'm still going to be giving my true honest opinion about these products because this is almost like a first impression and we are going to see together as to how this lasts throughout the day and how it looks and what my thoughts are about some of these products. Now coming to the products that I have with me, now all the details will be mentioned in the description box below you can check it out along with the timestamps as well now firstly i have is the glow on blush duo in the shade 04 classic coral and cool cinnamon i also have the long wear brightening eyeshadow stick in the shade peachy gold then i have a high def soothing eyeliner pencil in the shade earthy brown and uh, for lipsticks i do have the non-stop airy matte liquid lipstick in the shade terra red and i have about four of the super butter lip lacquer which is a very newly launched product so before we can get into the video and if you have not already then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so the notified whenever i upload and now let's jump right in the video All right, so first thing I want to mention that all of these products, they are 100% vegan, they are cruelty free, paraben free, as well as there are no toxins. So the first product that I'm going to be trying out is the Glow On Blush Duo and let's quickly go over with the benefits. Now it does have calendula oil which soothes, hydrates and reduces any skin discomfort and it also has a rosehip oil which moisturizes, brightens and evens out skin tone. Now they do offer about four duos and these are priced at 900 rupees for nine grams of product and the shade i have is 04 cool cinnamon and classic coral this is how the packaging looks like at the back you have the shade name and number and it comes with an inbuilt mirror and on the left you have the shade classic coral and on the right is cool cinnamon i have super zoomed you guys in and this is how the product looks like and i'm first going to go with classic coral i'm going to take one brush so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use classic coral on one side and cool cinnamon on the other side and uh, probably by the end of the day and after the wear test and everything i'll mix both and see how it looks but for time being, I'm going to use one color each on each of my cheeks. So I've taken the shade Classic Coral and lightly tap off the excess. Oh, it's a pretty shade. Nice. So by the way, I have not added any contour on my cheeks because I wanted to keep my cheeks bare for these blushes. So just FYI. And... Um, this is a nice product. And for cool cinnamon, I'm going to go with the fresh brush. It's pigmented. These shades are pretty. Uh, there is no fragrance to these, just FYI. So as you guys can see, Cool Cinnamon is a bit more pigmented than Classic Coral, but even then, they look so good on its own. So the next product that we have is the Longwear Brightening Eyeshadow Stick. And just quickly to go over with the benefits. Now, it is a highly pigmented and long-wearing eyeshadow stick enriched with the goodness of vitamin C and mango seed oil. It offers effortless blendability, perfect for on-the-go touch-ups. Now, the vitamin C, it repairs and generates skin cells and mango seed oil is known for tightening and firming your skin. The shade that I have is Peachy Gold and they do offer about 5 shades in total and these are priced at 1050 rupees for 1.4 grams of product. This is how the eyeshadow stick looks like. The cap in the bottom is color coordinated and it is a retractable type of an eyeshadow stick and this is how the shade Peachy Gold looks like. So what I have done is this side of my eyelid is primed like I've used concealer and loose powder to set it wherein this side I have removed all the product it's completely bare. So we are going to see how long it takes for it to crease or does it not crease and how it looks and all that good stuff. Okay so I'm gonna go in. creamy and it glided pretty well same thing on this side now this 
that I'm just going to quickly fix because I feel that this side is much more over and above my natural crease line and I'm just going to make it equal. <laughs> Now, both the eyelid, I don't see much of a difference. The side where I have set it with concealer and the one where I have not. So this eyeshadow right off the bat, I can tell you, it is very lightweight and it doesn't feel like anything at all. And even though I lay it up so many times, it doesn't feel heavy on the eyelids. Like even right now, as I'm touching, like there is almost nothing on my fingers. So yeah, it's quite transfer proof and budge proof, which I like a lot and um, pretty good. So next up for Kajal, I do have the High Def Soothing Eyeliner Pencil in the shade Earthy Brown. Now these do have Argan Oil, Vitamin E, it is a long lasting formula and it's packed with pigment as well. Now they do offer about 3 shades, I have the shade Earthy Brown and these are priced at 900 rupees of 0.35 grams of product. This is how the eye pencil looks like. The cap is color coordinated and it is a retractable type of an eye pencil. And this is how the shade Earthy Brown looks like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same brown eye pencil as an eyeliner and a kajal as well. So let's go. Quite pigmented. Do you guys see that? And it's gliding like butter. What do you guys think? I love this shade. It is, I, I don't think I've ever worn like a brown eyeliner or kajal at all. So I like this. And I'm gonna use the same thing as a kajal as well. Now, as per usual, how I would normally apply, I'm going to go with a clean brush and smudge the bottom portion of my eyelids, like the kajal part of it, because I do prefer that. Wait, I'm going to take a bigger brush. So I'm going to quickly add some mascara, lashes, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have completed my eye makeup and this is how everything looks like right now. Now, I could have added some black eyeliner over here in the front part of where the lashes and my eyelids are. But I'm just going to skip it. I'm just going to see how everything is. It's completely fine. And uh, But yeah, I have not made any changes. I've not done any touch-ups. It is just as it is. And uh, I do like it so far. Now, finally, let's move on to the lip products. Firstly, I'm going to be swatching the Super Butter Lip Lacquers. For the benefits, it has murumuru butter which seals in moisture and keeps the lips super hydrated. It has mango butter which is a powerhouse of fatty acids. It heals dry and chapped lips. It has kupuwasu butter which draws water to the lips and improves its elasticity. It also has shea butter which is rich in vitamin E that is known for its restorative and healing benefits. And last but not least, it has shea butter which softens the lips with its deeply nourishing formula. That is a lot of butter. <laughs> Now, they do offer about 12 shades. I have 4 shades with me and these are priced at 875 rupees or 5 ml of product. These come in a frosted transparent tube and this is how the doe foot applicator looks like.
we have is their non-stop airy matte liquid lipstick now these do have apricot oil which keeps your lips hydrated they have avocado oil which restores and repairs your lips now they do offer about 20 shades and i have one shade which is terra red and these are priced at 875 rupees for 5 ml of product these come in a transparent tube with a shade name and number at the bottom and this is how the doe foot applicator looks like Okay, so the time right now is 1.46 p.m. I'm gonna have my lunch. I do have some editing work to do. I may be filming as well. So yeah, I am gonna come back and show you guys how it looks after a couple of hours and then give my final thoughts. Hey guys, I'm back and uh, right now it has been over six hours. The time right now is 7.51 p.m. And this is how my makeup looks like. Now I am pretty oily, so I'm gonna remove all the oiliness by using a blotting sheet and I will be giving my thoughts. Okay, so I've removed the excess oil from my face and this is how the makeup looks like. It still looks pretty good. Uh, the shade Classic Coral, it's very lightly, faintly there. It's not completely gone. However, the shade Cool Cinnamon, it, there is still some pigment that is left, which I do like. Like for it to last through my oily skin and look like this, it is a pretty good thing. Now, something that really impressed me a lot is the eyeshadow stick because it has not not creased at all like at all all this time and I have super oily eyelids nor has it creased in the part where I have already concealed and uh, prepped it with some loose powder as well as on the bare eyelids as well there is zero crease that has been formed and uh, yeah I am quite impressed the eye pencil is also intact as you guys can see as an eyeliner it is still there in its place however at the bottom corner over here it's kind of a usual thing where it always does kind of smudge a bit in the corners of my eyelids over here and over here but apart from that everything looks pretty intact and even for my lipstick I actually had my lunch was a very very light meal like I just had some salad and it kind of was okay because it's a light meal and then i had some snacks and then some coffee and it still looks pretty good for six hours wear time so i mentioned this earlier that i will be using the blush by mixing both the shades and just to use it and see how it looks like so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go with my blush brush and mix both the shades tap off the x's and And now for my final thoughts, by the way, I have made a note of everything. So don't mind that I'm going to be reading off of it because I am super tired. I've been awake from 2.30 a.m. and my eyes are almost shutting down. <laughs> so for the first product that we tried out was the Glow On Blush Duo. Now, I do love the fact that both of the shades are very pigmented, especially the shade Cool Cinnamon. I really love that shade a lot. And even now, after mixing both the shades, it still looks very pretty. And they are very easy to blend and they're quite long long-lasting as well as you guys saw on my oily greasy ass skin that it was still seeing and peeking through now the two things that i love the most about the blush duo is that it comes with an inbuilt mirror and secondly you get two shades for 99 rupees so i really like that option and one thing just to keep in mind like an fii is that there is a bit of kickback or fallout when you swirl your brush through personally for me it's not a problem it doesn't affect me at all it doesn't affect the performance but i'm just letting you guys know about it and next up we have the long wear brightening eyeshadow stick now these are creamy and pigmented at the same time it glides on very smooth and it sets quite quickly and once it sets it's not gonna budge at all it is quite smudge proof which i really do like now this is an easy to use kind of a product which is like very beginner friendly and it's a one all done all kind of a product where just with this one product you are good to go and i love how long lasting it is and still on my eyes it does look quite shimmery and shiny which is nice it does have glitter particles in it and i do love glitter eyeshadows 
especially for eyeshadows i love glitter but i do not like like loose glitter or chunky glitter which could fall off this does not do that at all it perfectly is budge proof and transfer proof like you guys saw i don't even get any crease where usually it does crease for me because i have super oily eyelids but it did not which is great next we have the high def soothing eyeliner pencil now this is very creamy and buttery and it is super pigmented as well now it glides on smooth like butter i thought that i will be struggling when i had to use it as an eyeliner because usually i use like a liquid eyeliner but this glided on so well very easy and very quick as well and even as a kajal it does a very good job like even right now i can still see the product i have not touched it at all after 6 hours it has lightly come out of my waterline which is kind of okay which is normal with any kajal that I use. The second thing is that I really wish there were more shades because there are only 3 shades in this particular collection so yeah that is the last thing. Oh one thing I forgot to mention is that these are smudge proof as well like for example this is how it does not smudge. <laughs> Next up we have is the Super Butter Lip Lacquer. Now this, again, I'm being very repetitive, but I cannot help it. It is very creamy, it's smooth, and it is a one-swipe kind of a pigmentation. It is packed with pigments, which I really like that. And the formula is not too thick, it's not too thin. It's just the right consistency. It doesn't feel heavy on the lips. It feels comfortable. And even if you have like wrinkles or textures on your lips, it does smooth and blur it out. Oh, and these are not sticky or tacky or goopy of any of that sorts. And these are pretty well moisturizing on the lips as well. Now, these will last for about three to four hours like any other lip lacquer. And after that, you would have to retouch or reapply it. And I would highly not recommend this using it with your mask on because it is not transfer proof. It's not smudge proof. It will go all over your lips. And these are super shiny and they smell extremely good. It smells like cupcakes or cakes and it kind of makes you hungry, but it does smell amazing. I love it a lot. And last but not the least, we have the non-stop airy matte liquid lipstick. Now these are very thin in consistency, very kind of liquidy. At the same time, it is packed with pigments. Just one swipe, it gives a full pigmentation. And it is non-sticky as well. Now, these are transfer proof until I had my lunch. But then after I had my lunch, I had my snacks and coffee and everything. It's like 95% transfer proof. Like for example, clean hands. So you see the lip line has been made with the lipstick. But even then it still looks good on my lips. I do not have to do any touch up at the moment. Now for the removal of these liquid lipsticks, I would suggest using like a micellar water or an oil based product because the wet wipe will not do the job. And last but not the least, these do have like a strong floral fragrance. Now personally for me, I do not mind it. I like strong fragrances, especially if it's floral or fruity or anything of that sort. And if you are some Someone who is sensitive to strong fragrances you just have to be aware because this will linger for some time it does disappear but it does linger so yeah FII so overall for me I do love all the products that I've tested out today nothing has disappointed me and I also really love that the ingredients are almost like skincare but for makeup you know now having said that there is just one quick FII which is like personally not a con for me but it could be for someone else and that is to do with the pricing. Because these are mid-range products and these do not fall under affordable nor does it fall under luxury it's right in between and if you are planning to buy it I would highly highly suggest pick it up during a sale like for example right now at the moment on the website there is a sale of 15% off on selected products and they are also running like a buy two get one free kind of a festive offer that's been going on right now yeah guys these were my thoughts on the Kiro beauty products and this wraps today's video you guys i hope you all enjoyed it if you did do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so notified whenever i upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests i will try my visit for you as well as follow me on my socials which is ishanaira on instagram and ishanaira on twitter as well so until the next time take care bye